As a child care center director or owner, now and more than ever is the time for you to demonstrate your confident leadership skills with your team. Of course, you already knew that working in child care meant that every day could bring in a new challenge to overcome. But with the current health pandemic surrounding COVID-19, you might be feeling overwhelmed. At Child Care Biz Help, we are reminding you that we are here to help. We are always a quick phone call, video call, or email away to help with any arising issues or concerns that are preventing your center from succeeding. Here at Child Care Biz Help, we have compiled a list of tips to prepare your center on what they can do and what you can do to help your business. Increase your social media presence now. Your customers are already checking in on social media and probably more frequently just to get updates on the virus. Whether you're posting specifically about the virus or trying to offer light positive content to help people's minds off the panic, it can be helpful if you increase your posting frequency to ensure that you are showing up in their newsfeed. Also consider changing that newsletter into a video as well. Prepare for the increase of employee absences. Make sure to contact your local licensing representative to hear how they would like you to handle this. And make sure you also have clear communication on any changes to company policies, while also letting them know that you are here to help and you are promoting safety with all your staff and families. Assess your level of supplies and what is needed to prevent the spread of the virus. Stores everywhere are low on disinfectant and cleaning supplies, and maybe your center is on a tight budget. But did you know that you could easily make a cost-effective cleaning solution? On the CDC website, they have a bleach solution of 5 tablespoons or a third cup bleach per gallon of water, or 4 teaspoons bleach per quart of water. We do suggest that you follow your state's guidelines for this mixture. Make sure you are reviewing your closure or tuition requirement policies and make sure that your parents are also aware of them. Emphasize the need to remain vigilant against stigma due to the perceived race, national origin, or any recent travel. Make sure you are fostering a supportive environment that is free of rumors or any associations of the virus with a specific population. Make sure you are updating your cleaning schedule and procedures, such as anytime you cough or sneeze, use a tissue and then throw that tissue in the trash. Adding additional hand sanitizer units that are at least 60% alcohol. And be sure you also are communicating to your families the plan that you have to ensure that they are knowledgeable and comfortable with you and your staff. If you are a group program or currently serve food in a lunchroom, consider moving to bag lunches and serve them in the classrooms. And also consider altering your drop-off and pick-up rules to an entrance only to limit the amount of people who are in the center. And lastly, consider instituting a temperature check for each teacher and child that enters the building. Again, you may want to remind your staff and parents that although we may never know if we are overreacting to this virus, we will know if we are underreacting. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at info at childcarebizhelp.com or send us a direct message on our Facebook page.